Good morning, guys. It is day three of our week. Thank you guys so much for joining me. As we are focusing on verse two today, we are really just going to lay in and press in and look at what it looks like to accept our weaknesses. This is the perfect time to share this if you haven't already, um, as well as subscribing and follow me on Facebook and Instagram as well. Let us journey together through verse two of the song here again. As I walk now through the valley, let your love rise above every fear. And like the sun shaping the shadow, in my weakness, your glory. As I walk through the valley, let your love rise above every fear, like the sun shaping the shadow. In my weakness, your glory appears. I'm going to be reading to you guys from 2 Corinthians chapter 12, starting in verse 9. But he said, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in your weakness. Therefore, I will boast. This is what Paul is saying. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly of my weaknesses so that the power of Christ may rest up on me. For the sake of Christ, then I am content with weaknesses, insults, hardships, persecutions, and calamities. For when I am weak, then I am strong. How crazy does that sound? When I'm weak, I'm strong. The clarity in that is when we find ourselves accepting our weaknesses, that means we are humbling ourselves and allowing others to come into our life that have maybe our weaknesses, their strength to balance us. It's the body of Christ. It's the body, period. When one leg is hurt, what do you do? You rely on the other leg so that you can take some of that pressure off, but you have to accept that that leg is hurt. If you don't accept it, it only can make it worse. It's literally what we're sitting in right now. As our world is crumbling, as, as reality may look like it's the end, it's not the end. We are just walking through a hardship. And when we accept that hardship, what happens? The glory of the Lord appears. His power grows and in Him we find our strength. So therefore, in our weakness, we become strong. When you think about everything that we are facing right now, you can look, thank God, to social media and the internet. That's how we're connecting. When you think about all of the devastation that this random crazy thing is happening that I believe the Lord is allowing to happen, when you see that, what is happening? As we are finding people, our, our bodies are at saying to us, hey, I'm not as strong as you thought. The economy is saying we're not as strong as we thought. We were our own God, but we're not. And all of that, people are having to acknowledge that we are weak. And without God, we are nothing. Today, I want us to em embrace our weakness. I know in my own personal life, when I have looked at my weaknesses for the long for the longest, I used to uh, be insecure about so many things and, and not be able to accept those. I'd strive so hard to make my weaknesses be my strength. And then I stopped realizing what my strengths were and how the Lord had gifted me in certain areas to run with foes. Not meaning that I don't look at my weaknesses. I began to acknowledge them and accept them. And then it helped me become more open and willing to let other people who were stronger in areas to step into that. In life, in hardship, there is only one who can step into any of our weaknesses, and that is Jesus. And what happens is, as we accept our weaknesses, his power grows. We realize that we need him. He steps into the equation. We, we release control and let him do what only he can do, and that is to move, to bring comfort, to bring peace, and to bring what is needed now more than ever, hope. When we as man think we have to fix the situation, that's just too much pressure for us to bear. So in this season, in this day, in this moment, I encourage you to acknowledge your weakness and accept it and allow the power of the Lord to fill you up and to restore you. Give him the control that he should have. 
when you think about how we can serve others in this sense, other people are going to be financially uh, better off. Other people are going to be healthier than others. So in their weakness, in someone else's weakness, that's where we get to step in to love our neighbor, to maybe go grocery shopping for someone who needs it, to maybe say, hey, we're not in a bad position. We're going to help you pay a bill. That's how in someone's weakness, the glory of God appears. But here's the deal. We have to acknowledge our weakness. How do we know how to serve you if you're not sharing it? The world has taught us that it's it's not okay to, to accept that, hey, I'm just not good at something or I can't do something or I'm struggling right now. That is a lie. That is not the heart of Jesus. We are called to walk through life together and to journey through life together. So in this moment, if you are weak, express it. In fact, I encourage everyone who's watching this to comment prayer requests, to comment concerns right now. Let's be bold and let's be brave and let's be a testament to what the Lord can do when we say, I'm struggling with this. And allow others to step in and cover you with prayer. God, I come to you right now and I just thank you so much for who you are. Lord, I thank you for the opportunity that we we get to see you move in our own lives so that others may be blessed or so that we may bless others. Right now, God, I just pray for someone who's weak. I pray that in their weakness, your glory appears. In your weakness, their, your glory appears. In all that they are, they may accept it and say, God, we're struggling right now. But we know that you will see us through. I walk now through the valley that your love rise above every fear like the sun shaping the shadow in my weakness your glory of so much for joining me uh, remember let's comment let's share what we're walking through so that we can cover each other in prayer I love you guys have a blessed day we'll see you here tomorrow morning 